morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, May 2nd. I'm Maggie Flecno, and this is Houston Happens. Let me tell you, we are serving up a great show for you today. It's Tasty Tuesday, and we have the scoop on a popular waffle and dessert shop that just opened up in Pearland. We also have the scoop on how to make your small business thrive. That and more is headed your way, so what do you say? Let's get this show started. It's the thing that everyone is talking about. The Met Gala returned on the first Monday in May in New York City, and this year's theme was Carl Lagerfeld, a line of beauty. And there were some show-stopping looks in honor of the legendary designer, so let's check him out. Starting with the first-timer, Doja Cat, who dressed as Chupet, that's Carl's beloved cat. And she wasn't the only cool cat on the carpet, Jared Leto. Let's see if we have that video. He surprised Lizzo here. She's like, who am I hugging? He wore a full on white fur suit with very real looking eyes. Once inside, it was too hot to keep the whole suit on, but he would not abandon the head. Gotta love him. Now to something muy caliente. The Latin star Bad Bunny is known for turning heads at the Magella. He went for a monochrome look and a daring cutout back. He opted for a sleeked back hair instead of his usual natural curls and minimal accessorizing. Was he with Kendall Jenner inside? That's the question, my friends. Now we all know one of the ultimate queens of the Met Gala, our only girl in the world, Rihanna. She's always a Met Gala favorite. Well, check this out. She was fashionably late last night. She and boyfriend ASAP Rocky were the last stars to walk the red carpet. The singer wore, as you see there, an all-white Valentino custom gown. I think she looked like a big old marshmallow, but that's just me looking beautiful as always, though. And of course, a special mention to some of our favorite looks so far. Rapper Lil Nas X looking absolutely brilliant, wearing nothing but a metallic thong. Yeah, we have to show you that over on our website. Sparkling silver body paint and Savorsky crystals and pearls. Talk about glamming it up. You see some other looks? There he is, Lil Nas, unrecognizable. My favorite, Nicole Kidman actually wore the signature gown from her perfume ad. I thought that was really neat. Then singer, there you see there, and I love the bow that they would wear. Then singer Rita Ora, she had her most daring gown so far, and she had these amazing nails. Absolutely stunning. Then I love this. Tennis icon Serena Williams. Look at this. She actually made a pregnancy announcement on the carpet. She's expecting baby number two. But I love this because it's the classic take of the Chanel suit and then adding some gl glitz and glam. What was your favorite look of the night? Of course, you can weigh in over on our social media. And a lot of these ladies on the red carpet, they're business owners. And speaking of which, it's Small Business Week. And I'm so excited because we are joined by Fiona Chan. She is Shark Take winner and founder of Youthphoria Makeup We Can Sleep In. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Sleep in. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Thanks, Maggie. So I have to say, your social media is on point, my friend. So how can social media platforms help small businesses? How can social media platforms help small businesses? I think as a small business for Youth For You, it's been incredibly important. We create these really unique makeup products. So we create makeup you can sleep in, and we're best known for creating the world's first color-changing blush oil. So this is a green blush that reacts to your skin's pH, and everyone will get a slightly different color. So it's been incredibly important for us to demonstrate how to use our products how it looks on a different variety of people and just to connect with our customers. So I'm not surprised that of all businesses that Meta supports that 96% are small and medium sized businesses. That is amazing. Congratulations on your success. Talk about girl power. And what would you say are some ways that digital tools can help companies succeed and how have you used them? Yeah, I think as a small business owner, sometimes it's really, it can feel really challenging figuring out what content really resonates and what to use for ads. So what's worked really well for us is actually using reels. So short form video that's like 15 seconds or less that really demonstrates how to use our products has been really key. A biggest surprise for us is we recently just launched our pregame primer. So this is a daily protective primer. I thought it would be great for a Gen Z audience, but because we use broad based ad targeting, we actually found that because it has an ingredient that stops your skin's redness in just a few minutes, that busy moms who might not have the time to put on a full face of makeup every day actually love this product. Okay, I need to try this because I'm a new mom. I have a six month old and getting camera ready. I'm like trying to do it as fast as possible before feeding her breakfast and getting out the door. Before feeding her breakfast and getting out the door. 
Also, makeup you can sleep in is also great for that as well. I have to check it out. Lastly, what are some of the top five tools for small businesses, would you say? Top five tools for small businesses, would you say? I think just being able to connect with your customers where they are, and for us, that's social media. Being on Facebook and Instagram has been incredibly important. For Facebook, they also provide something called Performance 5, which is a guideline that helps small businesses navigate the digital landscape. It's been so important for us. And lastly, where can we go to support you and learn more about your business? And get some makeup, of course. To learn <laughs> to learn more about Euphoria and makeup you can sleep in, you can go to euphoria.co. And to learn more about Meta, you can go to meta.com. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us, and congrats on your success. And this is a perfect time for small business owners and entrepreneurs to take a look at their business processes so they can actually grow in the year ahead. Well, author, expert, and HoneyBook chief evangelist Natalie Frank is on hand to share how to build a successful independent business. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Well, hopefully you can hear us. Can you hear us in Houston? Yes, I can. Okay, great. Well, you're on live with us right now. So I have to say, why are people more interested in working for themselves now, would you say? Yeah, so the pandemic was a huge workforce shakeup. A lot of folks realized that the corporate path isn't perhaps what they expected it to be. We conducted a survey, HoneyBook and the Harris Poll, and we actually found that 50% of employed adults have considered quitting their jobs and going in. 40% of those in the last year. Now, despite what you might think, Uncertain economic times like we are experiencing right now actually make people more interested in starting their own business. They want autonomy, flexibility, and what we found is when they take the leap, when they go independent and start that small business, they actually have an improved quality of life and on average, they make more money. Hey, I love both of those. Sound pretty priceless to me. So what are some of the common challenges, would you say, though, that all small business owners experience? Yes, so there are a lot of challenges that come with running your own business. Any business owner can attest to that. Um, the one that we'll focus on for today, you know, when you get into that business, you're so passionate. You wanna bring something to the world, solve a problem. You have a craft or a talent that you are excellent at. And then you quickly realize that you have to manage every aspect of that business. Everything from marketing to sales to customer service, the entire client flow now falls on your shoulders. And without the right infrastructure and technological tools, that can really quickly lead to overwhelm, burnout, and the likelihood of making mistakes. We actually found that one in five independent business owners has lost money due to lack of organization. So that's a very real challenge that can lead to business failure. It really is. Now, would you say, is there a way that the government could better support the self-employed? Yes, so self-employed and small business owners, we're the backbone of the American economy, and we always have been, but the workplace infrastructure isn't perfectly set up to empower the self-employed to thrive. Things like insurance, healthcare, retirement savings are more, more hard for them to access than for their corporate counterparts, and they feel that pain more acutely. 80% of independent business owners wish they had more access to government resources and financial assistance. So for our elected officials listening, this is a great opportunity to lean in and to learn what are the pains that these independents, these self-employed individuals are experiencing, and then we need you to take action. So where can we go for more information and to take action for our own destiny too? Yes, so I highly recommend you check out HoneyBook and head to HoneyBook.com. We also have a ton of great small business resources over on our blog and an incredible podcast. It's called Independent Business and it's available everywhere that podcasts are streamed. Well, I really appreciate your insight. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Maggie. And speaking of business owners and some boss bays, we have one that has the scoop on a delicious dessert shop. That and more after the break. You can't escape justice. She was going to get me. What'd you do? I hid. <laughs> Judge Mattis. <laughs> Next on CW39 Houston. The partisan extremes do trust their news sources. People are going to watch them and say, yes, stick it to them. Then there are the rest of us who want to evaluate things issue by issue, story by story on News Nation. That's what we're doing.
This is a paid advertisement for legal services. When disaster strikes, call Terry Bryant. All too often, a catastrophic event happens and innocent people are hurt and killed. Refinery explosions, train crashes, construction accidents, offshore rig disasters. When it matters most, call board certified lawyer and former judge Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. You deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Hi, I'm Eric Dick, and I think it's important to know that you had the right to hire an attorney. If your home insurance claim has been denied or underpaid, call me right now at 877-7-FREEZE. That's 877-7-FREEZE. Don't be a victim twice. Call me today at 877-7-FREEZE. Call the Dick Law Firm at 877-7-FREEZE. Get, come and take it on Amazon. If you're not 100% sure you're getting 100% of the Medicare benefits you deserve, Kelsey Care Advantage, Houston's fastest growing Medicare Advantage plan, is here to help with a free Medicare plan checkup. Call now to speak with one of our Houston-based Medicare specialists. We'll help determine your specific needs and ensure you are receiving all the Medicare benefits you qualify for, like a $500 flex card with extra money for glasses, contacts, or hearing aids, unlimited transportation to and from medical appointments, and over-the-counter allowances. Make sure you have all the coverage and benefits you really need with Texas Best Medicare Advantage Plan. It's quick, easy, and there's no obligation. Best of all, if you switch to Kelsey Care Advantage, our five-star rating by Medicare means you can enroll year-round. So don't wait. Call for your free Medicare plan checkup today. 713-442-8511. That's 713-442-8511. Hey, babe, check this out. Look what I got today. Oh, those are so cute. Yeah, right? The kids are going to hate them. Uh, maybe, but they will hate them together. Blackish tonight at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. Well, welcome back. With federal requirements changing, more than 1.3 million people in Texas could be at risk of losing access to their Medicaid coverage. Joining us now to discuss this very important topic and what you need to know to maintain coverage from United Healthcare Community Plan of Texas is Jeff Maddox. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Hey, thanks for having me. Good morning. This affects so many people and a lot of our loved ones. So why is it so important for people to maintain coverage? Yeah, it's really important for, for people to maintain coverage so that individuals and, and family members can have regular visits with their doctors to access preventive care, critical screenings, and other services that are really important to achieve one's best health. And then without coverage, there's missed opportunities to better manage chronic conditions, early indication of changing conditions, which can lead to a negative impact for one's long-term health. So what do people need to know about checking or renewing their eligibility for Medicaid coverage? Yeah, so getting right to the to the point, the, the most important thing around the Medicaid redetermination or the renewal effort is to make sure that the state of Texas has your most up-to-date contact information. And what you need to do is go out to the website. It is yourtexasbenefit.com. And that's where you can make sure the state has on file your most up-to-date information. So your address, your phone number, your email address. This is how the state is going to be contacting individuals to go through this renewal process of Medicaid eligibility. So really, really important that, that you have that updated information on file. Then be on the lookout in your mail for an envelope, a yellow envelope from the state of Texas. And in red writing, it says action required. Some of you all may have already received it. If you haven't, again, be out for it. And next, it's really, really important is to review the information that is in the envelope and complete all the required information and return all of that information to the state in a timely manner so we could so the state can understand whether you still have eligibility for Medicaid and if it's determined that you do not. There may be other options out there for coverage, such as the health insurance marketplace or coverage through an employer. 
I know people get really overwhelmed with all of this and this information. So if we do get that envelope or one of our loved ones to do and we have questions again, where can we go for resources and to have someone help us walk us through this? Yeah, visit yourtexasbenefits.com or you can call 211 and choose option two. All right, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to break it down with us. We appreciate you. Thank you. And as Houston heats up this time of year, what better way to cool off than with some cool, cool ice cream paired with waffles? You'll find that and more at the Dalai Lama. They just opened, actually, a location in Pearland. And Sophia M. gives us the scoop on this Tasty Tuesday. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Hi, Maggie. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. I heard all about this. Yes. And you have a lot of experience in the industry. You said for 25 years, yes, donuts. Yes. Donuts. Oh yes. my gosh. Donuts. So how did you get involved with the Dalai Lama? What inspired you? Um, last year, me and my sister, um, during our off time, you know, besides making donuts, um, we went to ice cream shops and we were, we were thinking what a cool concept would be if we could bring an ice cream shop here. And I found the Dalai Lama and um, their Instagram pages are full of beautiful pictures and they just draw you in. and. Um, we, I, I flew all the way out to California to go try it and I was blown away and I was like, I have to bring it here to Houston. Well, I'm so excited <laughs> because you are bringing it here yes. and you just opened in Pearland. Tell yes. me where you guys are located. Uh, we're located at 3569 Business Center Drive, Suite 140, Pearland, Texas 77584. All right, and no offense, but the real stars of the show are these cones and look at yes. the colors that we have even out here on set. So tell me about what sets you guys apart. Okay, so these we have two different um, types of waffles. Oh. One of them is the Hong Kong style bubble waffle, Ooh. which is a soft batter. And then you have the traditional one, which are like the Liege waffles and they're harder, um, but with the ice cream scoop on top and hot waffles is delicious. Really? Okay, yeah. so what flavor is this with the blue? This one is actually our most popular flavor. It has blue monster, blue cookie monster. Okay. Um, and um, our signature waffle has the strawberries, um, oh. brownies, and the optional whipped cream if you'd like. Of course, we need the whipped cream. You're gonna make yes. something for us. Well, actually, like, um, can I help this you? One, sure. Okay. This one, if you wanna color it up with some Fruity Pebbles, <gasps> I you love know? That. Yeah, yes. add a little bit of this. Yes. And the different, tell me about the different flavors you guys have. Um, we have the different ice cream flavors. We have, I brought another one that's really Whoa. popular uh -huh. the Uve. Ooh, um, what is that? Oh, it's pretty. It's, can I try it? It's an interesting color, but it's really delicious. It's one of my favorites also. It's purple, you guys. Yes. I mean, it, it, life's too short. Eat <laughs> yes, dessert, right? Exactly. Oh, yum. Yes, right? What is this? It's ube. It's a Filipino um, Filipino yam, mm. purple yam. That's, it's almost like you're eating frosting, like yes. frozen frosting. Yes. That's delicious. And, and it's not very sweet as well. That's what I like, creamy. and not too heavy. Yes. So can we, when we go there, we can build these, but can we get these to take home yes, too? Yes, absolutely. Oh we my gosh. We sell them by the pints as well. Okay, and what else did you bring for us? Okay, and then I have, we have several toppings and icings. Oh, um, is this Biscoff? Yes, My is. husband loves, yes. Jeff is gonna, I have to yes. come see you. My husband so, loves Biscoff. So we can decorate <gasps> it as well. You see how Look pretty that this. looks? And now when we go, do we get to choose all the different yes, toppings? Yes, you can, you can. What is the most outrageous combo, would you say? Oh my gosh, um, someone had like, um, you know, the a regular ice cream scoop and then they put like marshmallows um, with chocolate sauce and uh, gummy bears, oh. you know. I mean, hey, <laughs> you, we all are a different yes. flavor, you know? Yes. What's your favorite, would you say? Uh, mine is the ube with uh, caramel sauce and uh, almonds on top. Oh, that yes. sounds delicious. I have to say this yes. ube is delicious. I've never Thank had you. that before. <laughs> And for everybody out there watching, 25 years yes. in the industry, and now yes. you're embarking on this new journey, what yes. would you tell them if they have a dream out there? I would just say don't give up. You know, sometimes at the beginning it seems like everything's against you, but just don't give up. If you believe in a product and, um, you know, the, the whole idea was to have something that families and the community can come together. Um, at our grand opening, we had people like uh, sit outside on the patio, enjoying oh. the nice breezy weather. It was amazing. It really won my heart to see that. Well, I have to say your smile in and of itself, it just lights up this oh, whole studio. You. I love your energy and I really want to support you. So again, tell us where we can go for more information. Um, you can go to 3569 Business Center Drive, 
Suite 140, Pearland, Texas, 77584. Well, thank you so much for taking the time thank to you, join Maggie. us. I really enjoyed you. <laughs> thank you, Maggie. And we'll have all of the details over on our website as well, CW39.com. In the meantime, I'm going to scoop some more for breakfast. Why not? No rules here at Houston Happen. No Stay rules. tuned for more. No rules. <laughs> Before you pick someone to handle your Social Security disability case, ask, is there a main office in Texas? Will your case be handled by a lawyer? Will the lawyer talk to you before the date of the hearing? Can they take your case to federal court? I'm Victor McCreese, a Texas board certified attorney. If you need Social Security disability benefits, I'd like to help. You have Lo Espanol. Victor McCreese, 713-665-1000, easyapply.com. We all want more of a good thing. I want more. And Miss Moore was no different. So when she was injured, she called Morgan and Morgan. With more than $15 billion recovered, she didn't have to ask for more anymore. What makes best reviews the best reviews? They have an unbiased team that researches products in real-world situations to get reliable recommendations on pretty much everything. Call that a plasma sword? So you can be confident that whatever you're buying is right for you, no matter what life throws at it. Like your daughter Clementine, for example. For the best reviews, go to bestreviews.com. Seriously, before you buy anything, ever. The reviews are in and everyone loves Season Pass from TXU Energy. 50% off your energy charges all winter and summer. What's not to love? I saved $450 last year. Half off for half the year is a real crowd pleaser. Even when the weather's changing, I'm still saving. Season Pass is relief when you need it most. You can say that again. Season Pass is relief when you need it most. I didn't mean literally. TXU Energy, energy for everything. Anyway! 104.1 KRBE. Home of the Rulin Riot Show, morning 6 to 10. It's okay, all right. It's about damn time. This is where Houston's hit music lives. Alexa, play KRB. Houston's number one hit music station, 104.1 KRB. on today's show but before we go here's a look at today's sponsored content what you don't see behind the scenes is we're having a little bit of an ice cream party over here we love the Dalai Lama and you want to spend money on something sweet right not your electric bill find out how you can save money thanks to our friends at Power Wizard they're up and then they're down. When it comes to our electricity rates, it's a bit of a roller coaster ride. Well, buckle up. It doesn't have to be scary because we have our good friends at Power Wizard always here to help. Christine, it's always a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I love seeing you because I know I'm about to save some money, which is <laughs> always refreshing. Thanks. So I have to say, though, girl, it has been a bit confusing to me because last summer I was so pregnant and it was so hot and rates were so high. Well, I've had my daughter now rates seem to be going down so what are you seeing as far as the trend okay we'll give you a better summer this year because we're <laughs> definitely starting to see rates come down um, a year ago in March after winter storm rates went up super high people panicked and signed up dirt for these long 36 month contracts um, we're always looking at market trends and forecasts and we're really starting to see them at a good rate right now um, we're starting to see 10 and 11 cents again so wow. That is so refreshing because I need to spend money on things other than my electricity, yeah. like, you know, <laughs> diapers and whatnot. So what do I do, though, if I was in this long term plan? What yeah. am I supposed to do? It's so confusing to me. It really is. And I think they make it that way on purpose. You know, you sign up for these long plans. You think that you can't get out of these contracts with an early termination fee. However, you can typically save even more in just a few months by canceling your service where you're at right now. 
um, and signing up on a new contract with a much lower rate. Okay, you make that sound really easy, but for the average consumer to do that ourselves, that can be a bit of a hassle. Enter our friends at Power Wizard. So tell <laughs> us a little bit about how you guys work your magic. Sure, so we look at hundreds of plans. We're always looking at the market. Um, even if customers are in a contract at, right now, if they're a member of Power Wizard, we might switch them over mid-contract if we see a much better rate and they, we know that they will save. And we don't have to worry about doing the breaking up. You do nothing, so we'll call them for you. Um, we'll get you on a new contract, and we'll also cancel your old service. Do you know the time, the amount of time we can save? I mean, to me, that is priceless. Yeah. You guys handle it all for us. Absolutely. It's like when you're looking for a good deal on a sale or whatnot. That's what you guys do, so you can spend your money on something more fun or diapers, or in babies. my case, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sounds good. So here's the thing, though. What I really love is you guys are approachable, so we can contact you in a variety of ways. We do. You can actually sign up online if you just want to do it yourself. Yeah. Um, you can hand it over to us. Then you can also call our customer care um, experts. Uh, they are always available Monday through Friday and on Saturdays. Um, and they will give you basically a new rate um, and they'll tell you how much you can save each month. And here's the thing, they're not getting paid off by someone. You guys are just a company here to help us. Absolutely. We're only here for the members. Um, we get no kickbacks from electricity companies. It's strictly a membership fee. Well, what are you waiting for? I would say sign up for Power Wizard. Make it your resolution right now. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. Well, time flies when you're having our fun. That's a wrap on today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happy Happens. I'm so excited because we are getting ready to celebrate the Kentucky Derby with a local establishment. So I can't wait for that and more. In the meantime, have a terrific Tuesday. Bye for now, everybody.